Terry? Well, she must be somewhere. Yeah, yeah, just keep looking. Do you know something? You really are the most patronising cow I've ever known. Well, you must bring it out in me. Yeah, well, I'm not going to wear any of this stuff, so you've had a wasted day. What's been going on? She dragged me into Otten with her because she wanted me to wear some suitable clothing for work. All I said was if she's going to work for us, I expect her to look the part. More like you can't stand the competition. Honest, Chris, I don't mind being told to smarten up, but she wants to dress me like, I don't know, Edna Birch. Why's your phone been switched off? You're supposed to ring me if you go anywhere. I switched it off. I wasn't going to have a moaning to you that I was interfering. Well, you have been. Oh, I know I have. But I'm telling you, Chris, if she is going out meeting clients with Andrew for our business, I wanted to look smarter. And who do you think you are? I would have thought that was obvious. Evening. Well, good to see you weren't lost for long. Sorry? Well, you had us worried. I mean, we thought something terrible might happen to you, didn't we, Chris? Uh, that'll do. Thank you, Terry. You really were on my case, weren't you? I was only in Otten, dragged there by your sister. Yeah, well, I know that now. I didn't then. I was concerned. You were being possessive, more like. Yeah, well, um, I'll leave you to it. Just a gentle reminder, Charity. I pay you a 24-hour wage, which entitles me to a 24-hour service. Does that not sound fair to you? Look, Chris, you know I play by the rules, and Zoe's caused all this, so don't take out on me. OK, you're right. But in future, pay little heed to any instructions that might come directly from my sister. You work for me. Chris? Good to see you again. Hello. Would you like to join us for a drink? Yeah, I'd love to. No, Rodney, take my seat. I'll get you a drink in, then I'll go and chat to Terry at the bar. Ah. Depends entirely on the quality of the person you're working with. Excuse me a second. Charity. Charity! Are you planning on keeping your distance for the whole evening? Sorry, I have rather interrupted your evening together. No, no, please. Carry on. So the upshot of it was that we had a huge fight on our hands with the supplies. Hiya. Yeah, Gray, how are you? Look, I'm sorry, Rodney. I think it's time I took Charity home. No problem. Nice talking to you. Actually, I wondered if I might invite you to join us for dinner. Say, tomorrow night, we could talk more then. Ah, yeah, that'll be round. I'm free tomorrow, as it happens. Well, come to the house, say, around 7.30. Great Yes, I marked two weeks ago. Great, 